this time at a Christian school in Nashville. The suspect identified as a 28 year old former student shot and killed three young children and three adults before being killed by police. Police tonight releasing surveillance video showing the shooter blasting away at the doors of the school, then getting in through the shattered glass doors. Later, we see the shooter rifle in hand walking into the church office before heading back out into other parts of the school complex. Police release video of the gunman inside the school searching for victims. The deadly attack lasted 14 minutes before police killed the shooter. What's up, family? It looks like we have another school shooting yet another school shooting and this time the school shooting happened in nashville tennessee so if you haven't heard and watched the news there is a shooter out there um, on march the 27th by the name of audrey hale i believe i think it's a she that goes by he him pronouns or something like that um, who did a mass shooting in a Presbyterian school or some type of elementary school where she killed or he killed six people, three children and three adults. <sighs> we get tired, man, of the same old cycle of school shootings and people uh, uh, freaking out and allowing all this evilness to control them to do dangerous things especially to our children. Now school ain't safe. There's been so many mass murderings in so many different places where there's almost no place that's safe. Movie theaters aren't safe anymore. I don't know if you remember the shooting that happened in the movie theater, I believe it was in Colorado during the Batman Returns uh, saga or Batman Begins saga um, of Christian Bale during that movie theater shooting, but now Almost like movie theaters aren't safe anymore. Schools aren't safe. They got uh, school shootings like the one here in Texas. And now we got one in Nashville. Churches aren't safe. Remember the shooting that happened? I believe this was in Ohio of the church shooting. Churches, schools, movie theaters. We already know just like just walking on the street already ain't even safe depending on where you are. People get shot drive-bys. People can't, people ain't even safe at home anymore. People get killed at home by stray bullets, drive-by bullets. It's crazy, man. But it's even crazier when you involve our children. My condolences goes out to those families. My condolences goes out to those who have lost the loved ones in the shooting and the school, a place where our children are supposed to be able to go to be safe and learn and grow and have an education, to learn the basic fundamentals of life, math, history, science, reading, make friends. Now you got three more children that won't be able to experience that now because of a mass shooting. So my purpose of this video because I wanted to talk to you guys about how important mental health is. Mental health is very important. Because to me, that's the root cause of a lot of these mass shootings. There's something within people that's pushing people over the edge to want to attempt to do these things. And it's usually a lot of things that have been buried deep down inside of people that is now coming to light. Could be childhood trauma, could be relationship trauma, it could be parent trauma. There are a lot of things that people need to talk about that they don't feel safe to talk about. There are a lot of things that people need to release that they just have not released. A lot of things that people uh, 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 need help with to unpack in their life that no one wants to take the time to do. We fall back. We don't want to check on our strong people, the people who mentally may not be there today. We don't want that. And so what happens is, quietly, these people are cast out. They're cast out of social circles. They're cast out of friendships. They're cast out of their culture. And they feel isolated. They feel like, okay, yeah, I have no friends. I have no one that cares. I have no one that takes the time to want to listen to me, 
I have no one that wants to hear what I have to say. And so because of these things happening to me, I'm going to take matters in my own hands. And to me, this is, I believe, what the exploit was of the Joker movie. Go watch the Joker movie. Like, like, like the Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie. Showing the evilness that this world brings to people and how the world treats us. And yet, you get to a point where you break down so hard that you don't know what to do after that, but to go to the darkness. So I wanna encourage you today, just learning from this incident, to be sure to take time to check on people. Check on your friends, check on your family, check on your coworker, because people are going through it. And if you don't wanna take time to talk to some of these people, then at least refer some of these people to where they can get help because there are a lot of people out there that need help that are really going through things mentally and spiritually for those who understand spiritual powers that are at play really take time man to check on people learn from this 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 example that we are seeing because these things are starting to happen more and more and more no matter how much we talk about it no matter how much we talk about guns and regulation of gun laws and this and that when people have a murderous heart people have a murderous heart and they will do murderous things so just take some time man check on people make sure people are doing good be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you can get more videos like these like the video leave me a comment let me know what you think about this incident Appreciate you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.